Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be seeing if China scooter parts are worth it. So right here, I have got these Class, class Fox scooter pegs. I got them in a pair of two, and they were about 20 Canadian dollars. So we are going to see how they work, how they look, all of that stuff in today's video. So, step one, let's open them. Wanna open it nicely. It says here, Lightweight design, super strong, including steel axles, perfect for street and park riding, fitting most scooters made in China. Are you sure about that? Anyway, they are aluminum, so I, I've never actually had scooter pegs, so I don't really know that much about them. Here is this one. It says Class Fox on it. Then here is the other one that has Class Fox on it as well. The, um, these things are longer. I'm assuming that one's for the front and one's for the back. I think this one would be for the back. That would make more sense because it's bigger. It has this little note that I forgot to read because I am stupid. Thank you for purchasing our products. We appreciate your support. Hope you enjoy your shopping experience with us and enjoy using our products. We welcome you to share your comment with us and help us build a better customer service. We will be happy to hear from you. Thank you, and have an awesome day. Thanks, that's actually really nice. Didn't expect that. So, let's put them on. Ooh, that was cool. All right, so, I have my Chromebook with me because I am an idiot and I don't know how to install pegs. So, we are going to search up how to put on scooter pegs. And first result, the Vault Pro scooters. Seems legit. So we are here right now. After I put the pegs on, um, I actually forgot to hit records when we were putting it on. So sorry about that. But I'll basically give you a little rundown of what happened. So, the back peg right here, it went in fine. It was, like, all good. But the front peg, because of my fork, it's kind of slanted. So, we actually had to use a screwdri screwdriver and put it in the nail so that it would um, not rotate when we were installing the peg. And it totally undialed my scooter. Like, it... it it was just sounding like you're dropping a bucket of bolts. Um, it still kind of is undialed right now. But, yeah, I did use it a bit. And I would say the final outcome is, if you have a really expensive scooter, like, try not to put China parts on it cheap parts i mean they'll work but like put put the less expensive parts on the less expensive um scooters but you can do whatever you want like if you want to buy cheap parts you can definitely do that like this is just all my opinion like i wouldn't buy them again but it is what it is they are they do work they are pretty good um but i will be doing a part two of this because i also ordered a brake so, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.